We got all of our pistons out. I'm gonna be doing cylinder one. I'm gonna be using this snap gauge and a dial caliper. So loosen this, bring it all the way in, tighten it up. I'm gonna start with the top diameter, about an inch from the top. With that contact the cylinder walls. Make sure it's straight. Tighten it up. Bring it out. We're going to put this in between these two blades. And put it up against the snap gauge. So, and then tighten this up so it doesn't go anywhere. Now we got four and one hundred and thirty-six thousandths. So we're gonna go to our top diameter, four point one hundred and thirty-six thousandths. Now we need to turn ninety degrees in the cylinder and get the top diameter. Okay, we're going to put it in 90 degrees from the last measurement we took. Get it straight. Tighten it up. Got four and one hundred and thirty seven thousandths this time. I'll plug that in. Now we're going to get the bottom diameter. all the way down to bottom dead center. Here we got four and 152 thousandths. All right, now we're going to go the same thing at the bottom, but 90 degrees. Okay, these are all the big ones. This time we got four and one hundred and thirty thousandths. All right, for the cylinder taper, we're going to be subtracting the top diameter from the bottom diameter. So one hundred fifty-two thousandths minus one hundred thirty-six thousandths would be sixteen thousandths. So. Point zero one six. And for cylinder ovality, we're going to get the difference between the top diameter and the top 90 degree diameter. So there's just one thousandth of a difference. Seven minus six, so point zero zero one. And that is how you measure the dimensions of a cylinder with these tools.